Amadea. Cicero. Not now. Please. We did all we could. I know. Ready for the sojourn, Damien? It's so exciting. I heard they're selling the anthologies of Mayara Terrell. Damien, we already have half of them. But the collection has Mayara's notes. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go get the stories we have. Maybe we can trade them in for a better price. Your son is close to his culture. Sometimes too close. Forgets that we're in Omba. The color of skin means so little here. Homesick? Terribly so. What is it? <sighs> then... We were supposed to sail tomorrow. Sail? Across the belt back to Rune. What? Please don't take this the wrong way, but... I watched you and Cyrus grow up maskless. You don't want him to go through that. Neither does Lavia. It's why she buries him in our culture instead of the culture of the city. She doesn't want him to grow up feeling like he's worth less simply because he doesn't have a stupid mask. It certainly kept the light in his eyes. I can only hope it'll stay. You should go. Tomorrow is still ahead of us. You can make it. <laughs> and let you take care of yourself. The last time I did that, you almost set my house on fire. Then I'm serious. Before you came back, there was little reason to stay. But now, maybe you can teach him a thing or two. Me? About life in the city. Ease him into its better half. Give him a mask, maybe. A masquerine? Then, I don't think... Ah, oh, forget I said anything. You have other things to worry about, I'm sure, and so do we. Oh, Ven. Thinking of how to tell the Judge Master? It's not every day that I'm required to be the bearer of news as world-changing as this. Mascarines and Dementicate? It's almost too much to believe. But you do? How can I not, with everything that's happened? I'd imagined you to be more, uh, skeptical than that. I suppose you would, wouldn't you? Tis your honor? <clears throat> if you'll excuse me, Inspettore, I have a report to send. Of course. Inspettore, I was wondering who was going to pick that up. Did you hang it here? It? I don't even know what it is. It's a bone whistle. I used to play with them when I was much younger. With an old friend of mine. Can you still play? Well, that sounded pretty good. Yes, well, uh, we have places to go. Ah, yes, the golden canvas. Ready when you are, sir. Ready to go, sir? Who's on the first trip? Yourself, Amadea, Vasco, and the Marshal. We'll come back later for the Mariner and the Innkeeper's family. Let's go, then. Exciting, isn't it, sister? I've never celebrated Seho Sojourn before. Just remember, almost everything there is more expensive than it needs to be. Keep your crescents for the things that you need. Oh, I will. I've got a whole list of them I think I can find there. Uh... Thank you for waiting, Cicero. 
I just wanted to make sure you got here safe. Don't worry. The Mariner took great care of us. Hurry up, Ma! We haven't got all day. Your son's right. The bazaars await. All right, all right, my boy. Let's go see what the peddlers are offering. Are you going to be all right? Calden, please. Go and enjoy the festival. Just keep an eye out for the grating while you're at it. I'll go check on the others, see if they've spotted anything. All right, then. I've got a few things I think I might be able to find here as well. Thinking to buy one? <laughs> buy a flute. Nothing is worth as much as a flute crafted by the flautist's own hands. I'm here to see if I can pinch some inspiration. Well, that one looks interesting. Ah, that's a Cato flute with three individual mouthpieces. Only airbrands can bring out the beautiful harmonies they were meant to produce. Far too cumbersome for a traveler like me, though. What's your type of flute, then? That one, over there. Simple. It's a traditional runic flute called an Iodi. It was brought over with runic culture in the fourth canticle, even before the Terals came. But of course, you don't want to hear about the fourth canticle, do you? I don't? Not when it pales in comparison to the second, no? Why would you say that? Oh, it's just something I overheard once upon a time. That life in the second canticle was... How should I put it? Worth dreaming of. Where did you hear that? You didn't have to lie to me, you know. About the artifacts being the key to creating masquerines. It would have made no difference to me. Who have you told? No one. Please. Then what are you getting at? I've been trying to tell you, ever since I saw you with the Bleeding Beetle. But I just wasn't sure how. What is it? It's... How do I put this? I am... The Bloodless. Yes, I am, in fact, him. Uh, but that's... If you heard the conversation I had with Amadea, you must have returned quite early in the night. Timings don't match up if you needed to report to the Bloodless first. Even less so if you were supposed to spread rumors. You have lackeys for that, don't you? Yes, you've made good deductions, but... I won't tell the others. As long as you promise to keep the details of the artifacts to yourself, too. I... I suppose that'd be fair. Is there anything else you wish to say? Only that I haven't seen any sign of the grating yet. Well, keep looking then. I'll go see what I can find. Bosco? I do appreciate the honesty. <sighs> so much for that. Thorn for your armor. Someone knows a thing about polishing, I see. Of course. Who do you think keeps my buckles shining? <laughs> so, what's Favio's opinion on what's been going on? The Judge Master's keeping an eye out. He understands that it's too early to act until more concrete trails can be found. Or at least until we know what the artifacts can do. And when you do, he will know about them? Oh, Inspettore, know that your efforts at undermining my loyalty to the Luca are in vain. I don't understand. You can clearly see what is at stake, but yet you think it's more important to keep your guild informed, even though you are fully aware that they might, in the future, jeopardize the investigation? 
Do you know who my father is? I don't know any Luca that carry the De Felici family name. No. De Felici was my mother's family name. My father was Judge Zane Rius. <sighs> I'd heard he was a great judge. He was also a great father, who taught me everything that I know about the Luca. My earliest memory ever was of a Luca parade. Staring at rows and rows of beautiful gold as he carried me in his arms. <laughs> oh, it had been a sight. A man as large as my father, tenderly holding a little girl at a Luca parade. He told me that he never heard the end of that tale from those around him. But he ensured daily that I knew he did not regret it. To him, displaying his love for me was worth more than his reputation as a strong, steeled man. But if you've heard of him before, then you'd know that his song is upon the singing tree. It's been there for a decade. I loved, and still love my father, Inspiratore. And the Luca is his legacy. Have I helped you understand? Yes. Good. Now, if that is all, I believe we have an entrance to find. Light carvings. Cicero, I didn't see you there. What have you got there? Well, nothing. Calvin? You have the most damnable timing. Hmm. What is it? When I was a skipper, I used to go down to the shore and scour the beaches for these. Sun skulls, a type of coral. That's a rather ominous name, isn't it? Sun skulls? On the contrary, the Midnight Belt is black, but somehow, these manage to retain their brilliant color. A ray of light in a sea of shadows. A source of hope in a mire of despair. I'd have carved one myself if I had the time, but since we're here... Who's it for? Each one of my kids has one. Jaxus did. My brother does. I get them for the people in my life that have given me hope. This one is for you. Me? For not turning me away, even though you easily could have. Calvin. In this city, it is difficult to call one a friend and truly mean it. But I do. And I want you to know that. Calvin, I, I don't... Please. Thanks. Any sign of the grating? <sighs> not yet. But I'll keep looking. Thinking of buying something? This one. Valenturia. Tales of the Second Canticle. <sighs> Lysandra used to sing it too. Must have picked it up from your brother. Was she any good at it? <laughs> Terrible. But she was never sour about it. You know, she did it for you. I know. I... I know. What she did five years ago... I knew she did it to protect me. That didn't make it any easier to swallow. But now, what have I done? It'll be all right. Cicero, I'm so sorry. It's just, ever since leaving the Malacate, I've been scared. 
to be a part of anything again. It's all right. I understand. Now, chin up. We've got a grating to find, yeah? Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. Thank you, Cicero. This is it then? Let's find out. Two of you will follow me. The other two will stay out here in case anything goes wrong. Watch for signs. Ages. It's like there's a whole world under here. Light. Over there. What is wrong with them? Stone sort. Addicts? It seems like it. Do we need to worry about them? We don't have the time. From the looks of it, they aren't nearly done with its effects. We need to see what we can find. Contadani? It's not uncommon for them to be seen with the dealers, but... Something on your mind? Nothing. We should keep looking around. Did you find something? The lady has told how the seed will save, and how the knife will take the life it gave. The shadows will come as they did before, but she will save us, so she swore. The shadows will come. What do they mean? And who is this lady that they keep mentioning? I don't know. Is there anything else? Nothing legible. Judging by the quality of the handwriting and the choice of rhyme, I'd say that whoever wrote this hadn't done it with a proper mind. Then these are just a bunch of addicted lunatics. Addicted lunatics do not so easily infiltrate the registry and capture one of its regenti. It seems like there is nothing else here. We should keep moving. Intruders! Here they come! Company of the colors, no. What do you think this place is? A salt emporium, by the looks of it. It's probably one of the ways the Dactites make a living. And the Herald will be here. That's what we're here to find out.
Intruders! Here we go! The leader was Isander before he'd been killed. And now they're here. And it seems this Herald's influence is more far-reaching than I'd imagined. We should keep going. Who is that? The Herald. Her second in command is alive. You said the Lady promised that the Melakarta would not live. Any of them. The Lady promised that you would have her men. They spoke with Cicero Gavar! They know where we are. He could be on his way here right now. Tell me that that is what the Lady wants. Do not question the Lady. You cannot see what the Lady can, and you will never understand what she does. But she is more worthy of your trust than any other entity. Tell me that you cannot see that she has brought you higher than you've ever dreamed. You live as you've never lived before. Food, clothes, shelter. Tell me that you believe you would have those if you had not trusted the lady. Many more of us would be alive if we hadn't. Blasphemy! If you had not been under the lady's guarding wings, you would have been crushed by the portieri. It is because of her that you survive, that you can hide, that you can prepare yourselves for the coming dangers. Tell me that you would have known about the powers that made masquerines, or that you would have known about the prophecies or that you would ever have possibly stumbled upon this. This is but one of hundreds that she has promised us. Now witness its power, and know that the lady is true. See what the lady has flushed out of the shadows. Do not let them leave. Oh no. Let's make them regret this.
come on. Where are you? Cicero! We heard people screaming and... Oh, gr Come at me! Light. Cicero, they need help. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Cicero. Take him. Think that we should be moving elsewhere. This place is good enough. But they know. This is good enough. Yes, Harold. Now leave. He's waking up. <sighs> How are you feeling? You've been out for hours. What happened? I do apologize. I hadn't expected my men to be so... rough. Your men? The Herald? I also apologize that you had to find out this way. No. No. I'm afraid it is true. Tell me you're here to get me out. Cicero. You traitor! Sunless bitch! Get a hold of yourself! Ophina, Corvus, it was you. That was necessary. And Razitov, you have him. Answer me! It was. Relatively painless. Damn it, Lucia! Why? Answer me! She has a plan. 
What are you talking about? How do you think the Dactites have stayed one step ahead of you all this while? You think we were lucky? The lady. Who is she? A visionary. Someone with plans for the city. Someone who has turned you against us all. You've killed two Inspitores and the Regenti, Lucia. And for what? It had to be done. Sometimes drastic measures must be taken for the greater good. Is that what your lady has told you? She is right. Words of a revolutionary. And like every revolutionary that has passed, she and all those that follow her will end up dead. She is Fae. What? She is of the ancient world, and she knows far more than you or I could ever hope to. You're a madwoman. You're following a Fae, a mindless, senseless. You have in your mind the peasantry of their kingdom, but the lady is nobility. She is more than just a beast, and she has plans to... Plans to what? How can you believe that a creature like that could possibly be? I have one of the artifacts! Yes. You are beginning to understand how big, how vast this undertide of secrets is. Get out of my head. There are worlds worth of histories that are returning, and you have simply scratched the surface. What you learnt at the pin drop is a morsel of what exists. A fraction of the knowledge held by the forces that you plan to fight against. How did you know about the pin drop? Yes! Think. How is it that I knew? What powers are at my disposal that I can glean such knowledge? Do you understand what you've pit yourself against? Not just yourself, but those who travel with you? You leave them out of this! Spoken to a mirror! They have yet to cross the threshold. They don't need to. And if you reconsider your position... What? You are here for a reason, Cicero. The lady has plans for you, if you will accept them. You think I'm insane? Is it insanity for the Gull to veer from the Stormfront? They are here. Cicero! You are a wise man, Cicero, and are modest enough to admit the limits of your perception. Let that awareness guide your decision. We will meet again soon, Cicero. And by then, I expect you to have thought long and hard about where you stand. He's here! Are you all right? Fine. Cicero! Thank the tides, you're... What's wrong? No. It makes no sense. Why did she hide you in the golden canvas? She must have known that we'd search there again. Unless she wanted you to be found. Wanted to send the message to us that she had the capacity to capture you. And was willing to let you go to prove that she was confident she could do it again. That has to be it. And Razatov. Damn it! And she said nothing to you. Nothing at all. I've already told you what happened. Tell it again. Maybe you missed something. <sighs> We were in the Golden Canvas, and we found out where the Dactites were hiding. We had a skirmish that brought us out of the streets, and I thought I caught a glimpse of her face, so I followed her. The next thing I know, I'm waking up to the sounds of explosions, and I see Lucia arguing with the Dactite. The Dactite wanted me dead. Lucia didn't. That's when Tristan came in. So you never spoke to her? How many times must we go over this before you believe me? What of Razatov's work, then? Where to find these artifacts? How to use them? Nothing. Come here. Twenty thousand. 
But I said bring him back. Unfortunately, I didn't specify that he had to be alive. You did your job. This is your payment. A dismissal? Simply an ending of your contract with the Registry. And now from here on, you no longer act under the purview of the Registry, and thus we cannot protect you from the ramifications or account for the responsibility of your actions. Of course. I understand. Good. Then I'll see you around. That is a wise move. Knowing the dark trajectory of this investigation, it would be wise to divorce the Registry from it. Just seems a little bit cold leaving you out in the dirt like that. I think it's excellent. Now it all depends on how the Marshal's going to spin it, eh? I will tell Fabio that you've been dismissed from the case. He will likely still request that I watch you, seeing how close we are to learning what the artifacts actually did. But at least you will no longer associate this with the Registry. Ah, how wonderful it is to have such an honest spy among us now. Better an honest spy than a deceitful friend. Now, I take my leave. The Judge Master should hear this from me in person. I wonder what'll happen when she finds out that we've been keeping things from her. You know about the artifacts. <laughs> Cicero, how does... Cicero? Hmm? Are you all right? Uh, I'm fine. Just... Help! Who's that? Someone in trouble. What are they doing here? Here we go! Sir, please. The Valencio needs help. Tristan, 